What's up, guys? Mitchell with Blaze Off Road here. Today, we're going to be diving into a new series, Three Minute Thursdays. Obviously, being known for high end electrical products and components in the off road space, we get a ton of questions from you guys related to stuff like how do these connectors work? How do I disassemble and assemble Deutsch connectors? How do I wire this product or that product? How do I use this specific tool? Or what's the proper tool for this specific job? So this series is to address all of those quick and easy questions and give you guys the resources you need to wire your own vehicle, whether it's an off-road vehicle, an overland vehicle, or in this case, any other vehicle, because this is very basic electrical component and product techniques that you can use anywhere in your 12 volt space. Today we'll be diving into weather pack connectors. So let's hit that timer and get started. All right guys, today we're gonna be talking about weather pack connectors. These things are super common on Baja Designs lights and a couple other lighting brands on the market, but Baja is known for rocking these plugs here. So let's jump in on how to assemble and disassemble these guys. I should note that especially with the three pin connector here, Baja uses a different keyway for their slots for their keys here on their plugs than other companies do. So just keep in mind that these keys here are different. I'm not gonna dive into the exact part number. I'm just gonna show you guys today how to assemble and disassemble these connectors here for your harness. So I've got one of our backbone light bar harnesses here. If you're not familiar with this, you can head over and check that video out. I'll link it in the description below. And you can also head over to the website and check this product line out. This is a great line for roof racks and guys trying to run a ton of lights up on the roof or in the bed of their truck. And so this is one of the light bar harnesses for that, which is why it doesn't have ring thermals on this side and why it's so short. But let's get into it here. So first you're going to unclick your backing plate on both sides, removing it. Sometimes it's helpful to have a screwdriver or in this case, a Deutsch connector tool to bend that out of the way. I would be cautious about how far you bend this out because this piece is just a plastic joint and they definitely do break off. So another thing, speaking of breaking, these tools, because they're so thin, can bend very easily as you see from this one here. As a matter of fact, we have another bent one here. So these are all three of the same tool. You just have to be careful with them. We usually keep at least one good extra one. However, the bent ones technically work as well. So you're gonna take this tool, it goes over the connector. We're gonna go one wire at a time here. So that'll go over your pin. You push it on and that will allow you to pull that wire out. What this tool is essentially doing is unlocking the two little wings that fly off the side of the connector here. So you're pushing down over it. Grab one of the bent tools here you're pushing down over those wings like that to release them and unlock them. So sometimes you will have to wiggle back and forth and really move the tool around to get that, that second wing unlocked. So it's also kind of key that you don't, there we go, that you're not pulling back on the wire right away because you want that wing to unlock and then you pull the wire out. So that's how you do the weather pack connector. And then assembly is way easier. Honestly, these are kind of one of the harder connectors to get off. Um, assembly, you just push them in and then lock that guy and that's completely done, ready to rock again. So very, very easy assembly on weather pack connectors, but disassembly, definitely a little bit harder. All right guys, thanks for checking out what was ultimately the second video in this series where we're diving into some of the more uh, electrical specific questions that we get. Maybe I should call them tech questions or just commonly asked questions about stuff that's not exactly our product, but related to our product. Um, we don't get many product specific questions with how to stuff just because our stuff is also plug and play and straightforward but we do get a lot of questions about different connectors and all of that so not sure exactly what we're going to do the next video on have some ideas have a small list of things but if you want to see anything or learn anything electrical drop in the comments below there's some stuff that might be a little bit too much for us to try and put together for you however 
definitely want to see what you guys want to know. And if there's enough people who want to know something, we'll probably tackle it. So thanks for watching. Subscribe. Let us know what else you want to learn in the electrical space. Small tips and tricks like this. Catch you next time.